I'm pretty pumped, you know, uh, especially and in the way we did last year and, you know, my with my leg situation and, and really, you know, I was, I was doing pretty good and then I got hurt and then, you know, won the championship and, and all that stuff. So I'm excited, you know, I, uh, I'm coming back to the same host family, the Coleman's. And then, uh, you know, so I miss them and miss being around Winnipeg and all that stuff. And, and I've been trying to tell people back home about the awesome experience I had there. But, uh, you know, so I am. I'm just real excited to come back and hang out with Reggie and Bergen and, and all them guys. But uh, so I'm really excited. Uh, it was pretty special. Um, you know, I've, I've gotten to. I've gotten to be on one more team that I can remember that won some championships and, uh, and but it's been a while and, uh, and it's a special feeling. Anytime you win, it just, you know, it fixes everything. And so when you're winning, you know, when I first got there, we were losing and it was not near as fun as when we started winning. So, uh, it was pretty cool. I, I was very impressed with Winnipeg and, and the uh, fan base and, and how many people we got in the seats and, uh, the way that you're treated as a gold eye, and, and it was just an awesome experience. Well, I didn't, I didn't hear the ball call. I, I literally, when they hit the ball and he fielded it clean, as soon as the ball left his hand, I went, I turned around, I grabbed my stuff, and I was headed to the clubhouse. And uh, and because I've, I've been on that side where. You watch a team dogpile on your field, and I was – I felt I, – I knew that we should win the game, which kind of made me sicker. So, you know, having to watch that happen and unfold, you know, I was – you know, I just felt nauseous, and I just wanted to get as far away from it as I could. Um, so I grabbed my stuff and went back and put my stuff in my hand. I, You know, somebody said, you know, the, the confusion started, and – and I was just like, you gotta be kidding me! I never have good luck like this. So, uh, so that was pretty awesome. You know, I look up and and Tur you know, Casey told me that he heard it right away. So, you know, I believe I believe him. And the catcher obviously heard it right away. But being in that dugout far away like that, like we have no idea. Like that was probably one of the craziest endings to a baseball game in the history of life. So. Uh, it was pretty cool. I didn't. I didn't think. You know, we had pretty good crowds all year, um, but for the most part, like the, the in the championship series, like it was electric. Like I was so impressed by Winnipeg and you know how they they came and supported and doing all that. But um, but golly, like I, I really was impressed. Like it was it was electric. That's the only way I could describe it. Um, but really, for the whole year. You know, the, the, the fans were pretty awesome. Like, uh, you know, coming from – you know, I played in the SEC back home, which is, you know, one of the best – probably the hands down the best baseball conference in the country. We have the, the highest attendance in the country in college baseball. And I felt like, you know, I was playing, uh, you know, LSU or South Carolina or, you know, doing all that. You know, my first series was St. Paul. I think it was ten to 12,000 people in the stands, like – it was definitely not what I expected and a lot better. And, uh, and, but like I said, all year, like the fan, the fans were awesome. The the city was awesome. And, uh, and I've been just trying to tell people, <laughs> I've been trying to tell people back home, like how, how great it is. And, and so, but I was lucky. My parents got to come up, see the atmosphere, see, you know, the game, um, get to come to a game. And I got them to come up again because they had so much fun. So, uh, so we'll see. We'll see how it goes this year, but uh, I'm excited. Uh, that was pretty cool. Um, you know, at that point, you know, when you're when you're when I wasn't starting, and I knew my leg. It took it, at the end of the year last year. It really took my leg a long time to get warmed up, and uh, and I had to do a lot of stretching just to be able to just run. And and at that point in the championship series and doing all this, like you just want to help any way you can. Um, so I'm telling you every single time that I even had a chance of running, I would run up and down the steps in the clubhouse uh, like a madman. And, and, 
but getting to you know getting to experience it and even you know when i get the, in at bat and uh in the championship you know skip let me get an ab and uh you know that that was pretty special to me just because you know i know i know i had a lot uh to do with us getting there and then uh the bad luck with the leg and all that stuff but i understand it um you know, I was just happy to win it, and, and that was pretty cool. It's awesome. I was sad when I heard oh, – I was ha I was bittersweet when I heard Wes was leaving because we and him got pretty close towards the end of the year. But Reggie – Reggie might be my favorite person on the planet. So, uh, I tell you what, I, t I, t I told him wherever he goes, I'm going, and we're packing steel. So, uh, and then Bergen, you know, that guy – he, he is one of a kind. I, I tell you what, I've, I've never met anybody who's got such a great heart as that guy does. And uh, but even you know Capion and 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 Dottie and all those guys, other guys, the pitchers, you know Sone and uh, you know that'd be nice working with the same shortstop that I was working with last year, just for the middle infield stuff. But I tell you what, like we, I, you know, I tell a lot of people that was probably my favorite team I ever played on, and, and our team chemistry. People don't understand our team chemistry was off the charts. And uh, and you don't get that, especially in, in a diverse clubhouse. You know, when you get to pro ball, everybody's kind of doing their own thing and, and this and that. And I'll tell you what, like, if we if it can roll over to this year, I think, you know, our team chemistry is going to be kind of what separates us. And, uh, you know, it's easy to have confidence in a guy that you already have confidence in. Um, you don't have to gain that new trust in, in this. You know, I've seen what someone could do. I've seen what Reggie can do. Um, and, and, you know, the more you play together, the more you care about each other, the more you, you know, you trust each other and do all that. So, you know, I think it can be pretty special. Uh, every year is different. You never know what you're going to get the next year, but I tell you what, it, it is comforting, um, coming back to familiar faces, even, I mean, even to the point where, like I said, I'm staying with the Coleman's again, that's the same, you know, I get to stay in that same routine. Uh, but I, I definitely build, uh, a great relationship with them, you know, and after the game, when I leave and I come home to my host family, you know, I'm hanging out with people I enjoy being around. And that, that made it the decision coming back to Winnipeg really easy. Oh, I've been busy. I'm, uh, I'm at Foley high school right now. Um, I'm actually teaching. I'm doing a long-term sub right now. So I'm, I'm technically a, Getting paid as a full-time employee uh, teaching PE in high school right now. Um, I'm also doing lessons after school and uh, and getting my workouts in. So I've been really, really busy. A lot of times I'm having to work out at 5:30 in the morning, um, you know, before I go to school. And I am I'm just about 6:30 or 5:30 to about 8 o'clock every night. And so, uh, so I've been running around. I've been busy, but uh, I've, I've been getting my work in and doing all that. Everybody is thinking uh, a thing in the – we got a Facebook chat. And I sent all them – you know, tell them – I've been telling them all year that that was going to happen. Um, and nobody really believed me. But, like, I knew how good this Auburn team was at the beginning of the year. So, you know, I definitely had the bragging rights and uh, until the next weekend. Uh, but, you know, they ended up losing. And Alabama, of course, wins the national championship. So that stunk really bad. But at least we got to beat them. You know, we kind of – that was – it's bittersweet. I'm I'm still upset. And they beat us in the – we I don't know if you know this, but Auburn just won the basketball SEC for the first time in forever. And uh, Alabama beat us in the SEC tournament. So, it's like we won the championship, but they beat us. So, it's like kind of the same thing. <sighs> yeah, we love y'all. Um Thank you so much for last season. I'm telling you, I'll remember it for the rest of my life. Um, let's create some new memories, and uh, and let's go and get us another ring. Go Gold Eyes.